David Lynch dined at the same restaurant every day for eight years. Lynch recently said he can't leave his home. In an interview, the director revealed, I've gotten emphysema from smoking for so long, and so I'm homebound, whether I like it or not. I can go out, and I can only walk a short distance before I'm out of oxygen. Lynch's fans were alarmed by the news, but after an outpouring of concern, he clarified, Recently I had many tests, and the good news is that I am in excellent shape, except for emphysema. I am filled with happiness, and I will never retire. Here are some strange facts about David Lynch. 1. He ate at the same place from 1976 to 1984. Lynch claims that he ate lunch at the same LA restaurant. He went there almost every day. His order was always the same. A chocolate shake and several cups of coffee with lots of sugar. Lynch called the resulting head rush granulated happiness. 2. Lynch considered school a crime against young people. He felt that school numbed his curiosity about the world. In his official biography, Lynch said, For me back then, school was a crime against young people. It destroyed the seeds of liberty. The teachers didn't encourage knowledge or a positive attitude. 3. Lynch owes his career to Mel Brooks. Lynch received a grant from the American Film Institute. He was one of the AFI's early beneficiaries. The $7,200 grant was for a very Lynchian film. It's about a boy who grows a grandmother from a seed. Lynch then studied at the AFI Conservatory. He secured another $10,000 grant to help make Eraser Head. The movie caught the attention of Stuart Kornfeld. Kornfeld was an executive producer working with Mel Brooks. Brooks found the Elephant Man script for Lynch. After Brooks saw Eraser Head, he ran out of the theater, grabbed Lynch and said, you're a madman. I love you. 4. Lynch turned down the opportunity to direct Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi was a dream gig for many directors, but Lynch has a simple reason for saying no. He wasn't interested. 5. Lynch hated Dune so much, he disowned it. He was disappointed with his version of Dune. He blamed it on the compromises he made in his approach. The movie was a box office flop. Then Universal released an extended cut. Lynch had his name removed from the credits. He had the studio change his credit to Judas Booth. 6. Lynch wrote a comic strip. The comic ran from 1983 to 1992. It was called The Angriest Dog in the World. Each of the four panel strips was exactly the same. Only the philosophical word bubbles changed. 7. Lynch is a furniture maker. He made a small table and VCR cabinet for Lost Highway, but that wasn't a one-off. In 1997, Lynch presented a full collection. It was shown at the prestigious Salone del Mobile in Milan. To my mind, most tables are too big and they're too high. Lynch says, they shrink the size of the room and eat into space and cause unpleasant mental activity. 8. Lynch hates it when people ask what his films mean. He believes that life makes sense, so neither should art. It makes me uncomfortable to talk about meanings and things. It's better not to know so much about what things mean, because the meaning, it's a very personal thing, and the meaning for me is different than the meaning for somebody else.